Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Crown and Anchor. This is a 2018 film. It was released here in the USA. Um, runs two hours and it stars Michael Rowe, Matt Wells, and Natalie Brown. The description is kind of strange, but a raw look at the effects of childhood trauma through the eyes of two estranged cousins. It's not what it's really about, but I'll get into that in a second. This does only have 74 grades on IMDb. It's one of the lowest I've ever seen. Um, about an accurate grade, but uh, this is called Crown and Anchor. Thank you everybody for watching this video. If you'd like any correspondence with me outside of YouTube, I do have my Facebook page. It's called Danny's Movies and Music. And uh, a lot of bonus content on there, especially my Netflix films uh, that I don't put on here on YouTube. So if you'd like to check that out, I appreciate it. Um, this one just purely came to me f through research. I'm sure the 74 other people who have seen it um, have uh, just looked it up and found it also. Um, so you might have to scourge a little bit to try and find this movie, but, uh, it is available. So, um, first thing I've got to say, and I just love being able to say this about movies all the time, but, uh, the title of the movie, I don't know why they had to come up with. I know it's pretty catchy, you know, crown and anchor, you, how they play off of each other, what do they mean? Um, it's the tattoos on the cousin's necks. And they make it very abundantly clear that that's why the movie's called that. Because they, sh they show the camera angle straight at the tattoo like a bunch of times. But they don't actually address it. They don't call each other crown and anchor. They don't, you know, have any kind of meaning about it unless there's some kind of sub meaning in the movie about you know the anchor weighing people down and the crown being at the top I mean but they don't really delve into that in the movie unless that's like a sub meaning so that's my first thing um, I guess next would have to be the elephant of the movie <laughs> is that we just had a movie a while back called Let Him Go. It was in theaters. I think it's still in theaters for those of you who are actually going. And the plot line for so many movies and for Let Him Go and for Crown and Anchor is, you know, drama, drama, drama. A bunch of things happen. A bunch of people cuss. There's some drug activity or something. And then we deal with some lower class people. And then there's an end scene where there's like a showdown. And the showdown is so disappointing. I've seen some movies with this concept that have a great ending. You know, where there's a huge fight. And they're, like, caught in their house. And, you know, there's guns a-blazing. There's fire. There's people hitting people with pans. There's all kinds of cool scenes at the end of some movies. But Let Him Go, Crown and Anchor, really boring and disappointing endings. And that's like literally all the movie exists for is to have an exciting ending, a big showdown. So that's what I'm kind of like leaning towards is that I'm tired of watching these kind of movies that have a little bit of story but a disappointing end of a showdown. And I just don't understand why we have to keep getting them. Now we've gotten one this year and this one was two years ago. There have been a bunch like this. I just don't understand the point of it. Um, I do appreciate the people that we have in this movie. You know, there are a lot of big muscles. Um, you know, a lot of drug use. I mean, obviously it's a movie. So the guy taking all these drugs is not taking actual drugs. But, um, you know, I admire them for their acting skill. So it's literally the only thing keeping me from giving it one of my worst grades of the year um and uh that's really what kind of turned my mind around on this movie was like well the acting is actually pretty good you know like they're having to deal with a lot of family issues they're having to deal with a lot of 
baggage, and that's what the description online wants to tell you, is that this movie is supposed to only address what happened to these people when they were younger and they had abuse as children. But honestly, what the movie is really about is them as adults. One's a cop, one's a druggie, and that's it. You know, you don't have to really play into the whole what happened to us as kids thing. Um, it kind of has a little bit to do with the movie, but like, it doesn't have to be their driving force. And honestly, it seems a little irrelevant about halfway, halfway through the movie. You're wondering like, is this ever going to come to matter? And then in the second half, they kind of address things. So... I don't know. I guess I'm more than anything bored with this movie and bored with movies like this. Um, you can talk as much as you want to. You can have as much, you know, punching of people that you want to. You can have as much drama as you want to, but I'm just not interested. You know, I just don't care. And so I'm going to give this movie a C minus. It's uh, right above my lowest grade of a D. And so I'm really sorry, but. I don't know why people keep making these movies. I really don't understand who's drawn to these kind of movies. But it's almost a mob kind of feel of a movie. So I guess some people might like it more than me. But mostly it's just kind of a drawn out drama session. So a C- minus for Crown and Anchor. Thanks a lot guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and get some of them to watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy movies. Thanks.